got our windows down Driving down the 405 Sing along to the radio It's such a beautiful day today. I like it. It feels like it should be a crime to stay inside. I really need to get moving on the motorhome. I'm actually filming with my phone. So hold on. Let me switch to my better camera. My camera died. So I had to go back in the house and get a charger. I can't wait till we live in the motorhome and then everything will be in the motorhome because it's going to be like my little house. First, I need to open some windows because it is hot in here. I'm going to put a bathing suit on because I'm so hot. All right, I made it. We did it. I got my mom bought into a bathing suit. <laughs> Today, it's gonna be a little bit controversial because we're gonna be talking about things that I'm buying for the motorhome, which I'm on a no buy right now. So you're probably like, Shannon, you're not supposed to be buying anything. It's cute, right? Kind of goes, so I'm gonna keep it. So today, what we're doing is figuring out all the things we're gonna be putting in the motorhome. I found one. Okay. It's hot. I get a little dizzy. I don't want to pass out. Okay. By the way, if you don't have one of these little like portable fan things, you should. I'll try to put some in my Amazon storefront for you guys to check out because these are so amazing. They have different levels too. Like if you have anxiety or panic attacks, like I do. Whenever I start to have an anxiety attack, I feel like I get very hot and I feel like I can't breathe. And having like a fan or cold air on me um, really helps. <laughs> so does Xanax, but you know, fans are more readily available to people. So, all right, today we're going to talk about, we're in the RV and I'm very like pumped and excited. Does any other YouTuber like fan their underarms while they're vlogging? What's wrong with me? Today I am going to be telling you some of the things that I've been getting for the RV. And yes, I'm on a no buy, but these are things that we need um, or will make us a lot more comfortable and happy. So again, our whole, my whole no buy, low buy thing is um, trying to just be more mindful of the things I'm buying and trying to just not like buy a bunch of stuff we don't need. I've been buying things I know I do need and this one is right in front of me. Um, I used to be very into like designer bags and I had like Louis Vuitton bags and then I got older and like that stuff just didn't matter to me anymore. I, like I just really don't care about having a designer bag. Um, and so I have had this same backpack purse for years now and I like think it is the most amazing thing. Hold on. We've had some strange things happening on our block lately. Anyway, um, so what was I talking about again? I got distracted. What the heck? Okay, guys, this is like the fifth time that we've had cars drive by our house like very slowly and then turn around and drive by slowly again and then just like park across the street and stare at our house what? <laughs> oh my god i thought i was paranoid before okay so i'm gonna pretend like this is not ha that's not happening outside it's really distracting me i was talking about things like buying things for the rv since we're going to be living full-time in the rv we wanted to have things that make us very happy um and also you know things that we like feel like we needed so I'll just explain, okay, the first and I think the most important thing is the bed situation because most people don't live full-time in their RV, but if you like to get a good night's sleep, I think mattresses are just like so important. Mattresses are something I will spend a lot of money on. Because as we know, sleep is so important, especially for your health. So I ended up going on to rvmattress.com and I went ahead and got a Brooklyn bedding brand mattress because they are known for like they're just top of the line. They're known for like being the most comfortable, the best quality, and that was important to me. Um, also, they're made in the US. You get free shipping. I was a little nervous about getting a mattress online that I hadn't tried yet before, but they do have a three-month 
um, like trial. So if you don't love your mattress, you can get a full refund, which that was really cool. And they have a 10 year warranty for our RV. We needed an RV short queen. Make sure you get like the perfect dimensions, length, size, everything for your bed. And they don't just make RV mattresses. They also make mattresses for like ho your home too and like regular beds. Um, I ended up getting the Brooklyn Aurora Hybrid in the queen short. Um, and then I even ended up after getting this one, I loved it so much. I wanted the kids to have a really good one. So they make bunk beds, which was so cool. And we ended up getting them the Brooklyn Wanderlust bunk sizes. <sighs> How relaxing. It's like luxury mattresses for your RV. Look at this. This one. It's amazing! So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Then once I got the mattress for ourselves, I decided to go ahead and get the kids a mattress from the same company, Brooklyn Bedding, because of how much I loved it. And of course I wanted my kids to be just as comfortable as we are. Also, something pretty cool is that all of their RV mattresses are made in Arizona. This is just me unboxing the Brooklyn Wanderlust um, bunk beds. Also, just want to say a huge thank you to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. You can visit rvmattress.com forward slash Shannon to get 20% off your mattress with code Shannon. Um, and I will leave that down in the description box as well if any of you guys are interested in getting a new mattress for yourself. Is it cozy? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Come on up, you crazy cat. What are you doing? Not long ago, you got hurt. Someone did you wrong. I can see it in your eyes. It's like Hi. Uh, okay, so that was one thing. I'm just going to kind of take you around the motorhome and show you some of the things that we've been doing to prep getting ready to live full time in the motorhome. So one of those things was, oh, I was talking about purses. Sorry. This is like my ADD. I'm not on medication for it. The purse situation. I have one purse. It's a little mini backpack. I love it. I've been using it for years. It was only like $30 on Amazon. I will, I will try to link it below or I'll put it on my Amazon storefront. If you go into my description on this video, there should be like an Amazon storefront link. If there's not, let me know so I can make sure to put it on there. But um, on my Amazon storefront is basically like all of the things I talk about or that I love and that I have. So feel free to check that out. And if you buy from that link, it helps support me a little bit and it doesn't cost you guys any extra. It's kind of like an, an Amazon affiliate that we have. Okay, so speaking of that backpack, it's amazing. I love it, but with the traveling in the RV, we're going to be doing a lot of adventures and that backpack is not really like a hiking backpack or like something I would take on like long walks. So I ended up getting this. Um, and now I have one purse and one huge fanny pack. And this thing I think is just so cool because it will fit so many things. Let me just show you. You can um, wear it a lot of different ways. You know, you can like put it, you can wear it like behind you on your side. You can wear it in front. And it has all these like awesome pouches. This is so huge. Like there's so much space in here. You can't really tell, but it's a, it's really big. Also the pockets are really big and nice. And I just thought it's perfect for like traveling and stuff. So that was, another thing and now i'm going to pick you up and we're going to take you around the motorhome i'm going to show you some of the things we've done so far it's not done but um we installed these little like spice rack things inside our little cabinet door for our spices so that was one thing um let's see what else have we done so far oh something in the bathroom that we've done is we put up these little wire racks uh to hold towels because we were putting our towels up here but it was taking up so much space and um we need all the space we can get so yeah this will hold our towels we have another one here we haven't installed yet um you guys know we did like the shoe organizing racks these are perfect for the kids clothes so we have one that goes over this door for snow's clothes and then we have one since storm's clothes are not as heavy 
it's kind of hard to see but um we put it over this shower door and all storms clothes go in there and a lot of people were like oh that's not good for the shower door it's gonna break it um we haven't had any problems yet crossing our fingers so um and then i will show you in here we have a lot of stuff going on this is our portable washer and dryer that we use to wash our clothes when we're on the road we are actually installing our bidet or travis's into the motorhome toilet which is not going to be an easy that's gross which is not going to be an easy um task to do because you have to plug it in it's like this whole thing so travis thank god knows how to do all that stuff but we ended up getting this on amazon which i think is so cool because as you can see our shower is very small and even when we take all this stuff out all of our bottles were down here and i shower with snow and so it was just like not a lot of space so to have all of our shampoo conditioner body wash up here it, it just is going to be really nice so we got that little device thingy um this thing is like impossible to shut this door kind of drives me crazy i'm just gonna leave it so the TV um, that we had in here was actually broken in the bedroom. And so we needed to get a new one and we decided to get a smart TV and also a little DVD player. And Travis installed all of this on his own. So go Travis. So lucky to have a husband that knows how to do that kind of stuff because, oh my gosh, it just saves us so much money. Also, this tripod was another thing that I ended up getting um, because it's really small. It just is going to make my life a lot easier and then I can use it as like a monopod also. And in case anyone cares, the camera I used to vlog with is this Canon. Oh, come on, focus for me. That's a look. G7X Canon. I've gone through so many of these because I break them a lot. This bathing suit. Um... I actually splurged on and bought this at Target when I just went there recently. Um, even though I'm on my no buy, I kind of broke my no buy by getting this because um, I'm just going to be honest, after having a baby, um, none of my bathing suits fit me and I didn't want to like not have a bathing suit in time for summer because I'm like waiting to fit into a bathing suit. So I decided to just get one that I thought like... Um, you know that I fit in that I liked and so I went ahead and got this bathing suit again it's from Target it's very comfortable and I feel like I don't know it's just a lot more of my style these days and I'll probably just like wear this every single time and I also got a pink one recently so I broke my no buy it is what it is but you know what I'm very happy and that's at the end of the day what matters to me is my happiness um, our bed is a mess right now because I've been sleeping in it. All right, what else have we done? Well, I've just, um, I was gonna get these tension rods. I'm actually gonna end up returning them because for one, they just look very like flimsy and dingy and just like not very nice. I got them so that like we can put stuff here and like our books and stuff and they wouldn't like fall out when we're traveling. But honestly, I think I'll just like, I don't know, do without the tension rods. Uh, what else? Um, we also, I didn't buy these recently, but for the medicine cabinet, I kind of just put everything in these like tall, uh, clear acrylic organizer things that I got from home goods and they're awesome. I really like it because when we're traveling in the motorhome, like if I didn't have these, everything would just like fall out when you open it. Cause you know, when you're driving, everything kind of just falls out. It's actually pretty dangerous. So this is like more of like a safety thing and also keeps everything kind of in there and organized and this medicine cabinet fits so much stuff i'm gonna have to go through a lot of this because i'm not gonna need all of this but that's kind of what's in here now now let's see what else kind of like walking around and seeing like what did we do different so i and oh so here's another thing i bought this is the instant pot duo crisp air fryer and when you live in an rv everything kind of fits there perfectly but when you live in an rv the oven can you tell we have kids there's like literally fingerprints everywhere the ovens don't cook evenly and they're kind of like really tricky and they can burn and ruin your food and travis like i don't like wasting food travis really does like it upsets him like he gets very upset so i ended up getting this because we didn't have an instant pot the one we did have i was borrowing from my mom and my sister 
um we had one a long time ago that my aunt got me and i don't know what happened but somehow we lost it in a move so i just splurged and got this and i'm very excited about it because i feel like we're gonna do a lot of cooking in that and then last but not least of what i can think of as of right now because we're still going to be getting things um to like get ready but um we got an almond cow i don't know if you guys have heard of the almond cow but we're vegan um, and so, and our kids go through so much milk and it makes me sick how much plastic, um, goes like how much plastic we waste because of how much milk our kids drink. And so I started making our own homemade nut milk and it's just, it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. And sometimes I don't, I, I get busy with stuff and I just don't have time to do that. So the almond cow makes that just makes your life so much easier you basically make your own nut milks at home you don't have to buy milk and you get anymore and you can make them exactly how you want them without like added oils and like just the bad stuff that milk has when you buy it at the store and you're saving the planet by not having a lot of plastic you can just get glass bottles or mason jars and fill them up and so i i have that coming it's not here yet but it should be arriving today i'm very excited about it so that's kind of everything we've um things we've bought for the rv to live in it full time if you guys have questions or you guys have any suggestions of things that we should get another thing that i can think of off the top of my head really quick um is these cabinets they go back pretty far um if you can i don't know how far you can see back but they go back really far but they're kind of hard to like get to so i was thinking maybe for one we can get the rollout like rack shelf thing so we can like pull it out and get to stuff easier but I don't know if it's gonna be too heavy because you have to be careful about how much weight you put in an RV, um, especially since it's not gonna be stationary, you're gonna be traveling around everywhere. So yeah. Oh, I almost forgot one thing that I got. Another thing that I bought um, for the RV were these special hangers. Um, I've had plastic hangers for so long and I just, I wanted these, but I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna, buy them because I didn't really need them but in the motorhome they actually do save quite a bit of space because they're so thin um and they help it so your clothes don't fall off the plastic hangers when you're driving around a bunch like you don't think about those things but like your clothes will fall off the hanger in the closet and then you have to like when you get to wherever you're at you got to put a bunch of your clothes back on the hangers it's a pain in the butt so having these is going to be like a game changer and i'm very excited i just got them on amazon they actually weren't that expensive and i think this was a really great purchase for the rv so and here are some of the clothes if you guys want to see all the clothes and shoes and everything i'm taking in the motorhome um let me know can you see how like shiny i am because i'm like literally sweating in here it's so hot i'm in a bathing suit it's still so hot um i haven't turned the air on because you're like shannon just turn the air conditioning on i the generator won't turn on because um the gas tank is under half full and it automatically will shut up if you don't have more than a half tank of gas and i used it up the other night when i was in here so anyway i think that's everything for this video if you guys have questions or you have any like video requests please let me know down in the comments also just for my followers i want to let you guys know whenever a company sponsors me and then you guys go and support them or you buy something from them with my code or my link um it helps like them to be able to support me so it's kind of another way to support me if it's something that you need already um and it's kind of like a circle where we're all helping each other you know and i think that that's really cool so just wanted to say that and thank you for watching thank you for being here i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in my next video looks like for youtubers it's like literally looks psychotic and like a psychopath but like <laughs> this is what like 99.9% .9 of youtubers do to make their thumbnails I feel like in front of the motorhome would actually be better but i don't want my neighbors to see me posing like a weirdo in front of the motorhome but guess what guys i'm gonna do it for the tube i'm gonna do it for the youtube <laughs> oh my god the things we do it's straight out embarrassment but the thumbnails are so important guys like the thumbnails are everything you, gotta, you don't have a good thumbnail no one's gonna want to click on it you know i gotta up my game up I gotta go out of the way extra if i want to be successful at what i'm doing
the lighting is so bad and harsh right now this is like the worst time to actually do to do this let's see can I get here no then it's then you really can't see me shoot Oh no, not cute at all. That lighting is horrible. Uh, I don't know what to do. I really don't want to wait till later to do this. I'm not going to forget. Maybe I'll superimpose myself. Or maybe let me try from the other side. And my neighbors are really going to see me like literally walking in my front yard in a bathing suit like a weirdo. Thank you.